Odd? Oh, oh right. right. I'll, I'll delete it. This is episode one. Stop and You're stop deleting and episode one? How could you? Yeah, you just stop and start. When everything's oh. fit, fixed and good. That, that, that too. I really hope... I really hope Simo Silly really likes... What we're doing today. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's perfect. The what quality is perfect? Image quality. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's uh it actually looks pretty bad on my screen, but it's because it's scaled down again it ends up working okay. Goddamn Super Silly just said hi. Hi Super Silly. Who are you? Uh... I like How did you get silly. here? Makes me a little quiet. Chances are they, the the they clicked the pull mate or late night crew. Oh yeah, yeah, that that is probably. Oh. I didn't think about that. Good point. Also, I don't see chat popping up. Ooh, is yes. that a full? Well, not full anymore, but were you drinking straight from a three-liter bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Two my liters, God, actually. so fat. There was a little bit left. I didn't... <laughs> it wasn't worth it, getting a cup. We you had no drink, regular cups, yeah, and I didn't want a little bit left, because dirty... you've been drinking it all day. No. I, I had I had some, some family over. The all bottle right. is two minutes old. Alright. Okay, alright, you gotta do this. Oh, I gotta pop out the chat. That's right. That's oh, no, is you're gonna be doing them get nervous. Oh, God. You're doing it that way? You should be doing it the uh, MIRC way. MIRC method? Yeah, I know about that. Um, But it actually does not look bad at all. I, uh, I tested it. Alright. Also, what's that red thing above... Like... Yeah, like, on Go Look at Russ, the top right, there's, like, some weird stuff under the black. That's the, uh, profanity. That's on the picture. Just scroll down to the panels. You'll see it. Oh. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, like, over the line. Yeah. The line must be transparent, then. Yes. Oh, and it looks weird. I don't know you if I like it like that, you know what I mean? What do you guys think? I can't about? be a part of this. Look um, at the layout. At the Rust Money picture above it, the line at the top of the border. Oh, yeah. There's like a. I just need to put a solid black line. Right, or. Do some picture, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I, I can. I can fix that later. Also. Also. Yes. Hmm. The outline. You see, like, above the little hair on the little stuff guy there? Uh-huh. You see how the black part connects to the top there? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that looks gross. Yeah, a little bit. Yuck. Also, the whole bottom is completely destroyed because I had to just chop out the the shadow of a leppy. So you can see the leppy, like, outline at the bottom. <laughs> where, oh, where he was he? Smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's awesome. They're in spirit, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so um, audio, audio is it? Type in here to test things. Sure. Testing things. Hello. Who I am testing thing? things. Ugh. <sighs> And the first thing that was audible was my dog going, <laughs> Great. Nice. Good start. Good. Professionalism. Chat is very destroyed. Oh, God. Why? Ugh. What the hell happened? Break it? I totally broke it. Okay. All right. It's better now. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely did. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I didn't change anything. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it was the yeah, exact really gotta... same. Oh, my God. That's going to be bugging the fuck out of me, too. 
What? Like, the line for the, the outline of the layout. What do you mean? It's transparent, so we can, like, see the text going up. Oh, that's so What gross. do you mean? Where? The, the line. You mean, like, the lines line. that are separating the text? No, 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 no. The, um... You see on the layout, all the way to the right, there's that black line. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, you see that? It has to move, but I see it. What yeah. black line all the way on the right? On the... That's the right border. Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. Chad has to move, but you'll see it. It's bugging me. Oh, bugging no, me. I see it too. It is so gross. Um, hmm. Is there oh, any way to crop God. these things in OBS? Uh, in OBS? Um, um, I don't know. Oh, yes, you can. I, Sick. Only thing I, is like a nope. solid color. You can just put it over it. Wrong, no, I, I, um, yeah, you, you can just crop it. It's perfect. Awesome. Crisis averted. Yay. <laughs> Hello oh, and welcome to Playing Field Episode 1. <laughs> this is a this test room. like... What? I want to say this is an episode one. This is like the uh, beta, the, the pilot. Not even the pilot. It's the, this is the alpha. Episode. The alpha the pilot. Alpha. Are we gonna get kickstarted and everything? Yes, <laughs> because we uh. need so much more resources than we have right now. We clearly are not already at the maximum amount of things that we can do. Absolutely. We need crowdfunding for more Coca Cola, please. That's true. <laughs> Good. All Good. right, hosts, lead us. All right. Hi. I I'm never usually in this position. This is weird. Wait, you're the host. Yeah. Goddamn right. Please sign up for this. The hostess <laughs> with the mostess. All right. So this is the uh, this is the first run of Playing Field, a, a name coined by Snake for a project completely different from this, but you'll never know about that. Uh, basically, um... I fucked up! Yeah, I saw <laughs> that's pretty, pretty much it's exactly what happened. Cry fucked up. It was a really good idea, but he's terrible. So, basically, um, I don't know if you guys have seen a podcast before. I'm sure you have. It's where we just talk about shit, and, uh, seeing as how our lives are kind of revolving around video games, that's pretty much what we're gonna talk about. And, uh... Video games. Yeah, pretty nice. I hate them. I, they're mediocre. But, so, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Smash. All types of Smash. And, uh, hey. these guys are going to try to convince me why Smash is a good game. Because I don't like it. I think it's because too uh, hectic this. and it's not Dark Souls. So, how do these things, how do these things usually start? Do we go, like, a round table? Ah, oh, when did your first cut... This is, this is how it starts going on. Just the horrible music. <laughs> <laughs> the codex of TeamSpeak are not meant for that. No, <laughs> they're not. Alright, so how long have all of you actually been playing Smash? Like, total years, not like gaps in between and shit. Oh, oh man. Oh. Well, it came out in the States in 99. So, probably, I think I picked it up, like, first day kind of thing. Yeah, I've been playing since 99. Yeah, 99. And you have been playing since, like, you have not taken breaks, you've always kind of played it at some form. Well, it's, the way I did it is I do it in, like, large quantities of each release, and then I'll step away until the next one comes out, usually. Okay, so you get, like, a huge dose of it and then just wait for the next one. Kind of. Yeah, uh, it, it's kind of like... When you see a really good cake and you eat it all at once instead of like making a piece and then taking the piece and eating that piece and then saving it for next week. But how long do you keep it in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> you just eat it all at once. You don't keep it in the refrigerator. I didn't it's a get cake this. That I didn't never get... gets stale. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get this analogy at all. Which means it's probably not very good, but. So everyone right. started in 99, including me. Yeah. That, that was the first and only Smash game I've played, other than dicking around with the newest one right now. 
So the, the, the 64 one? Yeah. Super Smash. Who, who's your who's your main, man? Oh god. If you say Pikachu, Pikachu it does. No, it was not Pikachu. <laughs> I think it was Link. I don't remember. Link's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I think I think it was I Link. accept this. Yeah, it's fine. Why was Pikachu like ridiculous? I don't remember anything about the game now. He can be. He was one of the best characters in the game, yeah. What exactly makes a character like the best? The best, the best. Meta Knight. Meta Knight makes the character <laughs> the best. <laughs> <laughs> like no, individually. I don't understand the balance in that game whatsoever. It's like yeah. what well, well generally most characters are usually balanced pretty well. It's just it depends on how they're played with, like as, because you got like games like Marvel vs. Capcom or something like that. You know, you play a character, they have to be played this certain way. In Smash, you can play characters in any kind of way you want. Make your like, combos. Yeah, it's like I believe it was described in the documentary as it's like a dance and you're like freestyling the whole time. But with like, like Street Fighter, you know, you're doing a combo, you know what combo they're going to be doing. They're doing, you know, their little Hadoukens and all that shit. So you're bringing up, you know, you're bringing you up the argument that like you have a limited amount of combos in like a game like Street Fighter, but in Smash you have kind of an... Uh, not unlimited, but a higher variety, yes. I guess. Absolutely. But, but how is that? How is that true? If they only have like you know two special type attacks with directions, sort of. But it's more like I don't know, like freestyle dancing in a way, where you can just do whatever you want to do as long as it connects and works. Hmm. See, I you would. Go ahead. Uh, no. <laughs> I would definitely argue against that by saying that, like Street Fighter or Marvel, you have set moves, and you can only use these moves in certain ways. True, you have a lot more freedom because of the way movement is in Smash. But at the end of the day, the combos, just the play styles, your play styles can differ, but you can still only be as effective as the character allows. I think that's, that's true. true of all fighting games, though. I mean, that's kind of a exactly. blanket statement. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so, like, it's... You're saying it's not as different as Cry was kind of just saying. Well, right. well, it's different, but not in, like, a huge way. It all depends on, like, the person playing, I guess you could say, like, there's no, like, overpowered character that, like, even if a bad person plays it, they're gonna be beating the person who's playing a really bad character, but he's really good with them. Like, there's no character that's just like, I'm cheap and I'm using this right now. There's no latch. You can say that, <laughs> but there are characters that are complete garbage in the fucking game. Which ones? Which ones? Yeah. In, in which Smash? Uh, just go for the new one. Smash Four, new one. Um, that's see, that's different because I haven't played with all the other characters in the new Smash. But let's it's say Smash Four is pretty rounded. Smash Four, yeah, it, it's yeah. alright. I don't know. It feels like some characters are overpowered, or at least people play them just really well anyway. There's some characters with a lot, you know. They're easier to pick up, I guess, and yeah, like maybe. there's a skill cap to them. But I don't think there's any one character that's, like, as bullshit as the other characters. Like, right now, consider the top three from my experience and, like, who's told me things is Rosalina, Lucario, and... Little Mac. Not Little Mac. Who huh? was it? Nope. Little Mac is, like, mid. Mm. Who the hell is the third? Either way, it was Rosalina and Lucario and someone else. And Olimar. I'm gonna pretend it's Olimar. It's not Olimar though. <laughs> it's not. I'm gonna pretend it is. <laughs> but they're not so high and far away that like the lowest here can't, you know, go toe to toe with them, do si do and roundabout and all that and such. 
But there are tears. There are tears, but doesn't that tears imply an, are... an inherent balance problem then? No, tears are like fan made. Like tears, like any game has tears. Like League of Legends true, has true. tears. Any like MOBA, all games have tears. True. It's just. People want tears for some reason because, you know, tears make them feel like, yeah, I'm playing the best. Oh, I'm going to be the best. It's, it's, it's silly, but that's how people are. Right. I mean, I before, personally hate tears myself. Before, like, there was a, I don't know, land play, or not land play, but just internet play. I don't think a lot of people used Ness when I played locally. Actually, I never played against another Ness when I played Smash 64. So, are you saying that Ness is terrible in Smash 4? Yeah, I, I'm saying it. Because it's a <laughs> change. Cryogenic, you I, said, I've been Captain Falcon, sort of Fox, and Falco are all top tier. Is that true? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. In melee, yes. Yeah, that's fair for melee. I wouldn't say so for Smash Four. But don't they have yeah, roughly the same abilities though? though? Roughly, but things change, like speed, the effectiveness of their normals, things like that. Oh, all right. It's cute, really. Play Smash. That's it. That, that's that's the. Yeah. And you have not convinced then, me then, at yeah. all to play this game. What makes it fun oh, okay. for you? Um, the salt. It's the, it's the only fighting game I can play. Can I? Can I pose that's the question? What makes Dark Souls fun for you? Or what made Dark Souls fun for you? Um, I would say in terms of PvP, it's the. And this probably goes for Smash 2. It's the uh, the guarantee that no fight is ever going to be the same, you know, any single time. Absolutely. You, you can fight somebody wearing the same equipment, or I guess in the terms of Smash, using the same character. But everyone plays a little different. And even if they play the same, there are still so many millions of possibilities. So that's what keeps me entertained in the game. Okay, that is so. 100% Smash. Yeah. Apply that to Smash and then add on the fact that you don't have to farm or get gear. Right. But it's it's hard coming from, you know, a game that I'm, you know, I dedicate a lot of time to that I'm fairly good at. And then going to Smash where I have no experience whatsoever and everyone else around me is way better. I feel like there's no... There's no, like, there's no way to learn without feeling like I'm in the shadow or, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm too far behind in such a community that is so dedicated to this type of thing. That's exactly how people feel with Dota, man. Yeah, well, I don't play Dota anymore <laughs> because I like Dota. But, I mean, it's, it, it's hard to get motivated when I don't, I feel like I'm, I'm too far behind, basically. If you're going to, oh, you're afraid. I wouldn't recommend playing against us. I would recommend playing online and just going at it. I've tried that and I just got completely destroyed. Actually, it was not as bad as I thought it would be. Mostly because it was just kind of chaotic and I just sort of hid in the corner and just like tried to like um, live as long as possible. What on once? Oh. You think that that's one on one? That's yes, the best that way to learn. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Huh. Absolutely, man. Is there any what are you like doing uh free for all? Is there any ranking system or do you just no. you, do no. you just literally be playing the best player in the world? Sometimes. Sometimes I'm playing against people that are like aren't possibly good and I can't beat them, and sometimes I'm just wrecking people to know it's stupid. Hmm. Yeah. And then you play some guy in Japan and it's really laggy and you're like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that is... That is Dark Souls. That's so, it actually is really similar in the sense that I think the only way to get better like at PvP in Dark Souls is to just lose over and over and over again. 
and every time you lose, you learn a way not to lose in the in the way that you did. So learning curve. I guess it's just I I don't know why Smash has no it has no draw to me, even though it's very similar in terms of the way that you get better at it, and I don't understand why. Like I don't I don't know, I don't get why I don't want to. You have the same issue that I have with Dark Souls, where my friends are already so much better at it than I am, so I don't want to even touch it. It's not even that much that. It's just like it's, you know, because I, I love the, the style of combat in all the Souls games where it's, you know, it's realistic and, you know, heavy movements and rolling and things like that. Smash, you're just double jumping and flying all over the place. It's the same reason I didn't really like, you know, um, like Unreal Tournament. Because, you know, I like, you know, just vertical and, you know, horizontal. Not like, you know, jumping all up into the air, double jumps and all that stuff. It, it makes it like, I don't know. It just bunny hopping it, everywhere. Yeah, bunny hopping like in CS. That, that's like know. the silliest shit. I think it ruins, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't ruin it. It's definitely fun for a lot of people, but I think it's like, uh, it's just not the type of genre that I'm into where it's all chaotic like all the time. You know, like... Yeah, uh, you, I you think know, you might think that way because in Melee there was a lot of things like that, like wave dashing and uh, just like L... What is it? When you hit L right before you drop. There's not a lot of that in Smash 4. So it's more just... It's, I guess, more... It's less chaotic? More. It's more basic, yeah. There's not okay. a lot of crazy moves. But there's still things to consider, like how far away you are from an edge to effectively know your range and stuff like that to be able to <laughs> jump back on uh from from guarding it let's say what do you mean guarding it uh well when people oh. try to go back on the edge and they want to try to get oh them. so you keep kicking them back off kind of thing yeah what do they call it vectoring now is that the term yeah, something like that. The, yeah. See, here's the, the main difference with Smash versus other fighting games is you're not trying to kill the person. You're just trying to get them off the stage and off the screen. Which That's kills what them. your main goal Which is. Which kills them, it, yeah. It does <laughs> this kill kills them, the player. But it, it doesn't matter about, you know, the health so much as just getting them off the stage. You can kill someone at, like, 12% health. If you gimp them like, hard enough, yeah. Yeah. It's very possible to do that kind of stuff. It's it's played a lot differently. Also, get your mouse off the screen. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I have that emote. Oh. <laughs> but. Is it all caps? Yeah. Uh, no. Aww. You fucked it up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, what were you saying, Cray? Before you OCD, or, yeah, OCD'd all over my mouse? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help it. Um, That's all I was saying. I don't even remember what you, you said. Uh, get I guarantee them off the you don't remember. not kill them. Oh, right, 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 right. So, oh, yeah. and you said that, um, I think I remember this right, that the higher their number is, it's basically the more force that gets applied to them when you get a hit yeah. or something. That, that yeah. increases the smash value of your hits. Okay. And is it... Well, what is the actual term for knocking somebody completely out? Um, Man, I don't know. If there is one. I mean knocking them out of stage. Say things? You got stalked, bro. Read them like a book, bro. KO. Okay. Destruct. So this, this is not really Just, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it, it would be KOs, I guess. That's yeah. how the game interprets it. Yeah, because knocked out. And there's yep. SDs. SDs, that means self destruct. That's when you suck. So, explain to me more about what, um, what Project M was. Because I don't really know anything about it. I'm gonna leave that up to Snake. So... People took... Brawl. 
And they modified it. They compiled a list of community changes and put it out as a playable sort of new version of the game. They were going for, what was it, to make it more like Melee. Melee, like, yeah. yeah. Because Brawl sucked. Yeah, a lot of people did not like Brawl. Why? Yeah, like, was, why was that? Too many changes. Um, the, the main like, reason people didn't like Brawl was because it was slower. Because the random trip mechanic, for some reason... Oh, that fucking slip, man. Yeah, that was the stupidest thing in the world. Do you know about the slip, John? The slip? No, I didn't literally know nothing other than the first game, so... Please. Alright, so... The slip mechanic is... You're, you know, you're running around. Randomly, you just fall. Just for no reason? Is it a glitch? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. No, oh. it, it was a mechanic. So yeah, the, air it, quotes. <laughs> they intentionally put it in the game that you can randomly slip. Yeah. Yeah, you slip and fall on your face. And you'd have yeah. to like push left or right to roll somewhere. And there was no causing factor, it was just complete RNG. I feel like there might have been a causing factor. I think if you like <laughs> kinda like what is it? When you go real fast and you turn like do a U turn real quick. What was that called? Dash dancing? Oh, yeah. To prevent dash dancing, but... Something like that. I that, like, say. limits your movement and stuff like that, then. That's really stupid. Yeah, it just slows you down. Yeah. And that's just one of the reasons why people hated Brawl. Okay, so then Project M was basically just, what, rebalancing things? Or did they actually, yeah. like, add new, like, characters and stuff? Like, how in-depth is the mod? Well, they, they definitely rebalanced some things, tweaked some modes, added music, added some new characters, costumes. And then did that, like, bring a new resurgence of people playing Smash in general, or is it just kind of a smaller community? It was definitely uh, configured to be built, played on Netplay a lot better, and it's probably the best I've played so far. Yeah, same. Don't the, you um, have to... Go ahead. You go ahead. Nope! Nope! Damn it. Um... <laughs> how did you acquire uh, Project M and play on the Wii? I've never been sure about that. You have to you have can... a modded Wii. Yeah, and oh. a CD or DVD. Do people actually Otherwise... do that? And then you can connect to other Wiis that have it uh -huh. Oh, that's kind of Are neat. there... Are there, uh... Yeah, you can do that. I mean, are there, like, uh, Project M tourneys, aren't there? Like, not yeah. just online, but in, like, other fighting cons or something like that. Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah. Definitely. So it's that big. Yeah. Is it bigger than, it's, like, um... the, the new Smash that just came out? No. Okay. No, not at all. No, okay. the, so the Project M community is not as big. It, the Melee community is the biggest community there is. Okay, okay. That makes sense. You yeah, like, Melee and Evo. Yeah. Probably some uh, more minor major tournaments. Minor major tournaments? Smaller major tournaments, yeah. Oh, I got you. Okay. Hmm. The money matches, man. Need the money match. Done. We're gonna money match after this. <laughs> what is a money match? You just put money up. You just just bet up. money. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can I bet against myself? Nope. You you throw the game. Well, yeah, I'll just throw the game. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think you underestimate how bad I am. You will somehow win. Fair enough. So this is all the right. section where we ask what you guys are playing, oh, and not good. at all. This is an original idea. Co-optional. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Russ, what is Factorio? Oh, 
let's uh, game about automation, man. What are you doing in it? I've seen you in it a long, or for like a really long time. Yeah, I've probably put in like 80 hours for the past two weeks. So what do you but do? It, it's kind of like, it's a sim game. Like some, looks like Sim City, I would say. Where you build, um, uh, like robotic arms that, think of robotic arms like for cars that put cars together. In yeah. A shop. And you have a bunch of, um, trying to think of the word <laughs> uh belts whatever they're called I can't think of what they're called uh, conveyor, belts. conveyor belts conveyor belts that's it yeah conveyor belts where you just try to make things harvest resources and then turn those resources into other things melted stuff but it's all automated so I'm doing hardly any work I'm just watching it go so there's, is there actually, like, any gameplay other than selecting what to... Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it gets pretty in-depth where you gotta make... Like, at one point, I have to, like, mine, like, iron, turn that iron, put it into a smelter, using all conveyor belts and arms. Hmm. Put that in a smelter, it takes it, the finished product out, puts on another conveyor belt, which goes to uh, different machines that I tell to build different resources, like, think of Minecraft. Where you take your iron, you can make like um, mine carts and stuff. Well, it would just do it automatically. It's kind of like a Tekkit for Minecraft. Have you ever heard of that? A what? Tekkit. It's a mod where it's pretty much the exact same thing. What I'm talking about. Oh. Where you're just it's all automation, but it, you don't have to do a whole lot. But it takes a little bit to get started. Hmm. Interesting. But, but yeah, there's a survival aspect to it too, where you're on an alien planet and there's mobs that are randomly kind of like tower defense into your base, but you build turrets and stuff. It's oh, so there actually is like a if there's a lose condition. Yeah, you, do, oh, you okay. die, and it can be hardcore where you die and your save's gone. But oh, okay, I thought it was just like a time wasting game where you just build shit. But okay, it's oh, an actual it's a, like it's, win it's loss a time sink. Yeah, 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 you can do that, yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that sounds pretty cool. Playing anything, uh, anything else? Uh, just Smash 4, really. <laughs> I, uh, what is it, on the Nintendo Club, where they, uh, you buy games and do a survey, and you get gold coins, I guess? Yeah. I bought Donkey Kong for the Game Boy, which, it's not the same Donkey Kong in the arcade, but it's... Clear. He seemed kind of fun. He, he shouted the spells that I did in the game, and it made me nostalgic. <laughs> Nosferatu! Yeah, that's one of them. I don't really know what any of them do, but they look pretty cool. You know what they do? Not really. I'll tell you right now what they do. Down B's Nosferatu. That's when, you know, you gotta get close, and if you get them with the Nosferatu, you suck their life, and then you get life back from that's sucking their life. And I what's up? I find that route to be extremely useless, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's actually better at higher percentages. It takes more damage. I, I'm uh, saying from hitting them. with it is so difficult. It is really hard. Would you have you to be above them really to good, do it. Uh, reads too? for it. Or is it just no. like throw it on the ground? It, it's right in front of you. No. It's like a forward grab type thing. It, yeah, okay. It's just, you have to read them really well to actually pull it off. I got you. And then side B is his uh, fire attack. What What is it called in the game? Like L fire or L fire, random yeah. bullshit. Yeah, he just throws that out and it's like this little like fire pillar. that it's, it's like PK fire from Ness. It's just a lot better. It and explodes then, at the end. It does explode at the end. It it does a lot more damage and Doesn't stuff like that. Doesn't he have the uh, L wind, the up one or something? Yeah, that's his up B. That's how he. That's his mobility and okay. also like a downwards attack. Yeah, that like thing was actually really good. I like it out. And then normal B is uh, L thunder or whatever thunder you want it to be. Okay. You can charge that up and then release it whenever you want for a huge attack. Isn't there, like, some gimmick, yeah. like, where you can... Yeah, where, like, you do that, where you can charge spells or something to change them? Or is it just with the uh, thunder? 
This is just with thunder. Okay. Yeah, that was that tip in the loading screen was not very clear on that. <laughs> it's adorable. You use tips on loading. I screens. know nothing about the game. There's, I use there's no instructions. There's so that's no <laughs> way I learn other moves. <laughs> no instruction whatsoever. So, I mean, I, I I can go online, but when I when I you know when I actually played it, the game had just come out and there wasn't much info on it. So I'm sure if I went online now, I could I could do my research. But eh. I believe in you. So Snake, what have you been playing? Mostly Smash, to be honest. God damn it. <laughs> I, I got been hopping back and forth between like Street Fighter, Souls, and old PS1 games that I haven't played in years. Like what? Oh, what you plan on? What you plan? Jedi Power Battles for one, which I finished. Oh. That game was so silly, but continue. Yeah, it was... <laughs> that was bad news. <laughs> Were you, weren't you playing Jedi Academy, like, a couple days ago? Oh, I was playing that, yeah. Yeah, I thought I saw you doing that. Yeah, the curve for that is... such a bitch. <laughs> I feel oh. like that's the deal with all old games. What, what are you going to say about yeah. Speaking of Star Wars related things, didn't EA announce Battlefront coming out in uh, 2015? Like a new one? Yeah. Did they? They, yeah. they did, yeah. I thought oh, they, they, interesting. Yeah, I thought they canceled it. I, that's what I was about to say. I thought the announcement was that they're not doing it. Pretty sure I saw something about that. Pretty sure we should confirm that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that, like, today. Electronic Arts on Twitter. May the Force be with you. Star Wars Battlefront release on holiday 2015. Huh. Well, yep, shit. that was announced yesterday. That's the one by Dice, oh, right? I remember what they canceled. What was They canceled. It? A new Road Squadron. Really? Uh, yeah. That's sad. Man, I remember playing the old one. The very first one. It was so ridiculous. I do miss it. So, uh, in the new Battlefront, do you still get to be the heroes? That is a good question. Hero mode was Third. the best part of that game. Yeah. Being Darth Vader and just running around slashing all the other, like, beyonds. Oh, I remember that. I remember, like, going to my friend's house, and that's, like, that's all we did. That's the only mode, and I'd be really pissed, like, because you can only have one of them on that. Only one player could be, uh, like, th that type of character, right? But there was a... Yeah. There was a, like, a hero battle mode where they were all running around. Oh, really? Yeah, man, I don't remember that much. It was a really good game, though, from what I remember, anyway. Well, Lobo Maestron says, yeah, this is going to be a remake, so they might. Battlefront 3 was cancelled, so this is a remake. So, is it a remake of the first one, then? Or second Probably. One? I don't know. Probably 2. 2 is considered the best. Huh. Did they both have Tatooine, where you can run into the, uh, the tavern or bar or whatever? It was Isley bar? I don't remember. I remember one of those levels did. I also, the like, second the top one level. Yeah. It was probably the second one, then. <laughs> Just randomly in chat. Anyone like Ratchet and Clank? I feel like I need to include this more. I never played more. any of them. Yeah. I was more of a Jack them. guy. But yeah, same here. Naughty Dog all the way. Yeah. That was back before I knew Naughty Dog was Naughty Dog. I had no idea that he yeah. Jack. Until, uh... I knew about Crash Bandicoot, at least. That was by Was that Naughty Dog? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Crash Bandicoot you was know? Naughty Dog. Yeah. Really? I did not know that. Really? 
Crash Bandicoot. I'm unless I'm telling you wrong information, but I'm pretty uh, I kinda sure. hope you're wrong. I'm pretty sure I was uh only right. Naughty the Dog. Bike. Yeah, I think he's right. Really? Yep, didn't they use They had Naughty a dog. different name, didn't they? Nope, it was Naughty Dog. No, I'm saying, did Naughty Dog ever have a different company name? Oh, huh. uh... Mm -hmm. I'm like, did you ever play, uh, I think it's called Body Harvest? Oh, it was known as Jam Software before renaming in 1989. Oh, alright. In 89? Yeah, 89. Yeah, wait, so that, they've been Naughty that Dog That wouldn't have mattered, time. yeah. Yeah, so, there you go. Hmm. I have actually never played a Crash Bandicoot game. I played the first one. It was alright. Yeah. It was okay. I wasn't a huge fan, but uh, I, I didn't hate it. My and like. I was uh... more of a Tomba guy. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. That's gross. <laughs> my uh, my only PlayStation exclusive like early game was uh, Spyro. Like I got that with my first PlayStation. I never played Spyro. Is that right? What about, what about Kalana? What the hell's Kalana? Yeah, Klonoa, you mean? Yeah, that's probably it. What yeah, the Klonoa? one with like, the, the rabbit eared guy. <laughs> yeah, he's black and white. and yeah. It's pretty weeby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's right up your alley. And it's like it's, it's like Tomba, almost. Yeah, it is. What about uh, Mischief Makers? I love Mischief Makers. Never played that. Yeah. What the hell they was made that? a lot of mischief. It was a 2D it, it was, game uh, where your main yeah. move was grabbing enemies, and then you tap down as fast as you can, and you go, shake, shake, and you get, like, <laughs> rupees and stuff, and then you throw them. That was the whole game. made a lot of mischief. <laughs> made a lot of mischief. <laughs> yeah. That was it, man. That uh, was a lot of weird-ass, like, N64 games back in the day. That's what I had anyway. I didn't have a PS1 until later. What about Buck Bumble? That was the B one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that game was weird. Buck Bumble. I feel like it was like Glover, but you're a B. Oh, wow. It does look like Glover, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably made by the same people. Probably. Glover was the shit, though. I loved Glover. Did any of you guys have a uh, Genesis? I did. I did not. Snake, did the you have a Genesis? The what? The <laughs> X-Men game. game was pretty oh, cool. that game was amazing. That was the one that was in arcades too, right? Yes. Yeah, that game was fucking amazing. But um, did you ever play a game Night called uh, Shadow Dancer? I should have know that. Shadow Dancer. It's like a dude and his dog, and like ninjas have taken over New York. Oh, I think I know that game, and it's badass. Oh, it was yeah, really it's good. Like Shinobi. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really, really similar. Yeah, I played that. Yeah, that game was amazing. One of the bosses yeah, was literally was a brick amazing. wall. The game was great. Wow. <laughs> I played I the fuck out of a kid in the arcade, and I just do the special that wipes the screen yeah. and die. And I was like, oh, that was worth my quarter. <laughs> Were you about to say, Cry? Oh. Was I saying things? I'm sorry. Yeah. You kind of say stuff to get interrupted for half a second, and then the thought just immediately vanishes. Yeah. How about MDK? MDK is amazing. I didn't play MDK. MDK. Yeah, Murder MDK. Death Hill, yeah. Uh, the second one's pretty fucking cool, too. What kind of game was it? It was very silly, I remember that. Like, there's one part where you have, like, four different characters you could be, or rather three. One's a uh, an assassin that can glide and has a gun and stuff like that. One was a four-armed dog, and you could hold four different guns to shoot from, like a rocket launcher or a machine gun or four machine guns, stuff like that. And then one was a scientist, where you have one item in one hand and another item in a different hand, and you'd make different things. And so the tutorial gives you a toaster and a loaf of bread, and when every time you combine them, you make toast, and you launch it at enemies and stuff like that. 
Fuck. It's a really silly <laughs> sci-fi game, but it's really good. And that was for the Genesis? Uh, that um, was actually for PC, I believe. Oh. PC and Dreamcast, I think. And it was Perfect. made by the dudes who made the Earthworm Jim games. Really? Oh, that, that makes all the sense now. It, yeah. has, it has that feel. They also made Wild 9, if you remember that. That RPG, mean, wasn't it? Uh, that was actually... You're, you're thinking of Wild Arms. I sure am. Yep, Wild 9 was the one where it's like you control some kind of like psychic powers and you like... It's all about like torturing your enemies and weird shit. It was fucked up. <laughs> but... But they also made the Enter the Matrix games, which the Matrix: The Path of Neo. Weren't were, were they like actually pretty fun? Enter the Matrix was damn fun. Yeah, that was like I think the first time they got like a Matrix game down like correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember having a lot it of fun with that. Didn't even involve Neo. Yep. Right. It's silent. Didn't. It was um. Who, who's the now you'll be in Ghost. That's right, that's right. But you could still do the whole bullet time thing. That was the, I, yeah, remember, I remember that being executed very well in that game. Yeah. And the, 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 the agents were always scary as shit. They were like bosses. I remember that. Better than Max Payne? Well, I don't uh, know. When, uh, when did the first Max Payne come out again? Oof. Oh man, you're gonna make me look this up. Yeah. 2000? 99? I had a Big guess. Bets. Whoa, there was a Max Payne movie? Yeah, it has Marky Mark. Marky Mark? Yeah. <laughs> was it a... Holy shit. And Mila Kunis? Mila Kunis what? is in it too, yeah. Is that his <laughs> wife? No. Oh, or in the movie. I don't know. You're about to, you're about to watch this right now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is. Uh, but Max Payne the game came out in 2004. Ludacris is in this game! <laughs> How did you not oh, know yeah. about this? That's a cash grab movie, man. It absolutely oh, is. God. It's a it's fucking Marky Mark and just, all just shooting here. party. That's all it is. Holy shit. I need this. <laughs> good day. This is a good day. I heard it was terrible. Of course it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. it's got like... What was the rating? Marky 5.4? <laughs> God. That, the sad thing is, that's like the type of, of video game movie that you could actually make decent into a movie, just because it's just kind of mindless action and you don't need that good of a plot, but they still made it awful. Oh, totally, yeah. totally man. I kind of wish that the original Max Payne was voiced by Marky Mark, though. <laughs> that would be amazing. No one would play it. Oh! Coffee for good suggestion. Has anyone played Ape Escape? No. I have not. Briefly. <sighs> Play briefly, yeah. Like on a demo disc. Ape Escape crazy monkey ball, but not that. Was the shit, man. What did you do Love in that, that game? game? You just catch you... monkeys. Yeah. Like, That's it? The, the whole idea is like a bunch of monkeys got out. And you gotta go catch them, and they all have the, you know, their own little, like, names and personalities and stuff. And you got these, like, different ways to catch them. You got your net, you got oh, other like things. Almost. It, it's like a puzzle platformer. You I would say it it's really action. Fast. There's, there's some action. It, it's not a lot of action, but it just, like, in terms of, like, stunning the monkey so you can catch them. It's, it's, it's like a hunting game, almost, but it's, like, got stages, and... It's a very kid-friendly, good-time game. I liked it. Kid-friendly, good-time. Sounds kid like a... Kid-friendly, good-time. Pedophile's heaven. I'm going to not say that word anymore now. I just, the word kid. It didn't work, damn it. I tried staring at your little avatar, like, on my camera. I tried looking at him, but I ended up looking, like, way too high, and it looked really dumb. And now it's looking, in there forever. You're looking at my headset. Quit it. It's true. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the turtle, who's balling. I didn't know there was a turtle there until, like, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's such a damn, that's a really good drawing, like, 
Extremely yeah. good. Yeah. Kind of scary. Especially the hand. Yeah. His veins. I'm going to look at that vein and be like, ugh. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a drawing until about 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn good. Yeah, they drew over the picture. Oh, obviously, oh. that's the only way they could have gotten it that perfect, but still, I don't care. That's that's impressive. And little Nego Cat, bottom right one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snake, do you think you're going to get uh, Words of the Fallen? I'm planning on streaming it tonight. Oh, you already got it? No, I got my Elgato, so I just need to buy the game. Oh, console version. Oh, yeah. are you going to download it? Yes. Oh, huh. That's actually a pretty good idea. I'd watch the shit out of that. I had to take a break from it uh, today because I played it off stream a little too long and I was getting too far ahead, so... It, it is really, really fun. I like it. It's kind of like... Dude, cry. W what does the interface remind you of? What game? The interface reminds me of a game that was a really bad console port. I don't know. Dead Island. <laughs> I'm not sure. What, 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 what Doesn't game it, does it remind, remind you of, of uh, Diablo 3? Like does the, it? Dude, the style of it and like the notes that you pick up are in the exact same way that when you pick up notes in the, oh. in the campaign. Like, stylistically, they're really, really similar. That's true, I never really thought That's about that. That's probably why you like it, because it seems more casual now. You're like, oh, it's just a good loot game, you'll be fine. It does feel casual. It feels casual and it feels accessible, which is nice, because, you know, games like Dark Souls, they're not as accessible. See, th as... that's the thing, though. I, I, I don't think this game is easier so far than, like, say, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I would say it's probably on the same level of difficulty, but the the only difference is they actually explain shit to you a little bit better, like how to actually play. Although to be fair, I didn't know how to use my gauntlet until like eight hours in. I fucking I don't even touch the gauntlet. I don't touch I don't it either. Right? Yeah, I just never put that in my hand. <laughs> I think a good way to describe this game is Lord of the Fallen is. The League of Legends, as Dark Souls and all that, is the Dota. Dota. Yeah, okay, that's that's a pretty good one. But they both have decent communities, though, so that's not right. We need to, oh, like, there's no way to shit-talk people, because it's only single-player. Well, both communities are pretty shit, though, aren't they? What, Dark Souls and Lords of the Fallen? Oh, I thought you meant League of Legends and Dota. Oh, no, no, th those are both... Completely terrible. That's why I stopped yeah, playing. Okay. I just like right. couldn't learn any more Russian. But like, <laughs> <laughs> it's um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would I would agree with that definitely. You know what you're gonna uh, you're, what you're gonna do, Snake. <laughs> what do you mean, class wise? Yeah, yeah. I I don't even know the classes available. It's basically, um, the three starting ones are what, uh, Cleric, Rogue, and Warrior, right? Um, they're... This light well, armor guy, medium armor guy, and heavy armor guy, basically. And on top of that is the selection of spells, too. Yeah, which I never ever use, by the way. I don't use any I, of the spells. I heard they make I, the game really easy, though. I only ever use the prayer one. Yeah, that, I use that occasionally because you can backstab people with it because it makes them distracted. Yeah. That's the, that's the only spell I've ever used. I didn't raise any faith or anything to actually put more points into that. But I have like five spell points that I just can't use and that's kind of annoying me. But oh, Can you explain the way stats are set up in this game? Um, Like you're talking about like the base attributes like strength and agility and all that stuff yes yeah, it's uh it's it's very similar to uh dark soul it's very si uh, similar to demon souls actually they even have a luck stat it's um strength is um i believe slight carry weight and then obviously strength weapon scaling and then uh agility is um speed and 
uh, agility weapon scaling, so like fist weapons, uh, monk staffs, uh, poles, uh, daggers, fists, every, everything like that. Um, also, the cool thing about the scaling is it's not like some bullshit B, C, S letter grade. It says the exact percent bonus, so that makes it a lot easier to figure out. Um, and then you have your vitality, which is health, obviously. And then um, faith uh, is basically like faith and intelligence. It's all spells. Um, and then uh, and then endurance is just exactly like endurance in uh, in Demon Souls, where it's equipment burden and uh, more stamina or energy, as they call it in the game. What is there? Which... Go ahead. Is Got there it. iframes in this? There are, but yeah. th but they're different. It's not in uh in like the Dark Souls games. As soon as you roll, you're invincible, and then it you have you know no more frames at the end of your roll. So if you roll mm -hmm. early, then you're good. If you roll late, then you're gonna get hit. But at right. this game, it's actually when you're in the air, like rolling. So you actually have to predict a little bit more. It's way more realistic. So it actually is a bit harder, but it's more rewarding too, because you actually have to like roll through things and not just like roll into them and shit you have to be much smarter about it but yeah it's still definitely mm. doable and it's way more fun than just because that's that's uh one of the i don't know if it's a bad thing it makes the game easier i see like all the people who did the review view uh review copies of the game they all just slapped on like a tower shield and the heaviest armor they could find and they just like tank oh, shit right. and just you know they just had enough potions to get to wherever they're going but um the fat rolling in this game is so slow that you just you cannot even move if you if you're like above a certain amount. So either you have to go that kind of build where you just you know face smash everything, or you go like the light roguey type, which I think you and Snake, you know anyone who's ever played a Souls game would have a lot more fun doing because it's much more similar. And the. Uh, <laughs> The uh, the attack system is actually really cool for uh, dual yep. wielding weapons. Cry, you've gotten the whole combo thing down, right? I still suck sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like, really I like that idea so though. So basically, in uh in, in this game, if you have like uh, two weapons, like two daggers or something, um, instead of like power stancing and having you know one new uh, one new move set. You would um you would do like R one L one R one and if you timed them correctly instead of just spamming them right after another uh, you'll see a little blip appear on your energy bar and that's indicating that you're pressing it at the right time and if you complete like that combo at the uh, perfect timing then you do like a really really quick like four hit stab so it encourages you to um, not spam and like know your timings ex uh, exactly and you get way uh, more damage for doing stuff like that and that even works with bigger weapons too like if you uh, if they consume a lot less stamina if you swing at the exact time so it's I, I really like that system it, it encourages you to not just mindlessly press the button you know what right. speaking of all this yeah what um what weapons are you using right now um, actually, I was using a uh, monk staff for a while, um, just because it was Is like, that a, like a, a bow staff. Yeah, it's like a bow staff. It's almost like a twin blade from Dark Souls, um, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just like it's blunt and it, it, it looks really cool. And um, the good thing about it is it uh, it can actually stun enemies, whereas daggers like they don't actually stun enemies ever. So. The pole does less damage, but um, it's more forgiving, basically, because you can stun enemies before they get a chance to hit you. But um, I I've been using daggers just because it's a little bit harder, but you can do way, way more damage. What have you been using? I, I was curious, though, what what dagger are you using right now? Oh, the actual name of it? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember... Do you know where you got it? Um, not really. I know the damage is like 48 or something. I don't remember what the exact name of it. I think I got it in that, uh, in that dimensional portal place. Got it in a dimensional portal place? What? 
Yeah. Oh, spoiler. Lucky. Hey, that, that is a spoiler. How dare you spoil You're there right now. I, whatever. I, I'm for like staying in <laughs> Oh. Um, are these dimensional portal things you that you're talking about sort of like an extra place you can go to kill like a boss and get something? Well, there are two different uh, things like that. There's one actual storyline dimensional portal place oh. that actually oh. I don't want to go into. It's like it's where the blacksmith is and everything, so it becomes like a central hub. But um, there are, yeah, there's like these random uh, kind of hidden portals that activate. Um, they're hidden in such a way that it's kind of clever uh, because they won't open until you've killed the boss of that area. But they're usually like way back in the level, so you have to remember where it is and go back after you've killed the boss. Um, but then when you go in there, yeah, basically it's, it's like a challenge room. Um, and you either have to solve a puzzle or kill a bunch of enemies, and then there's like a big treasure chest that has like free, uh, attribute point shards that, you know, give you free attribute points and things like that. So, yeah, there are those things, uh, scattered everywhere. Me and Cry just found like an arena one where it's literally just an arena. So, um, yeah, you, you never run out of stuff to fight. It's, it's pretty cool. I it's... need to show you. Make it go faster. Well... On PS4, I think it's 60. Yeah, I think so. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. I think well, it's I just like a driver issue then. Because uh, I've noticed no matter... I, I, I don't really change my settings and everything just stays the same. I feel like they, they, they just screwed something up. I'm like, it's going to be a patch that fixes that kind of stuff. Console ports. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Here's the hard-hitting question of this yeah. game, though. Oh, dear. Are you ready? Do you think... ESP is gonna stream it? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to watch. Yeah, I hope so. Will. And he will die to the first boss many times. I would say the first boss is harder than, like, uh, Asylum Demon. Oh. Really? Which is, uh, you know, a good comparison for hard first bosses. Things that I like about that game, though, that boss comes back. Oh, it's a normal enemy. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, pretty cool. They do that in Souls too, so that's not. That's not too Nothing unheard of. New. Yeah. Oh god, an original game. I hate back. Eh, never mind. I was gonna discuss his forms, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Um. So Andros. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. His final form is just a flying brain, just com it's just in N sixty four graphics too, like eight polygons. Just oh that god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I'd settle for the uh, polygon mask. <laughs> oh, from uh, the, the first Star Fox. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Was so weird. And then he turns into like the cube with just the texture. Yeah. <laughs> the weirdest shit. I don't know what they were doing there. Uh, was... FX chip. Check it. <laughs> Any more questions about it though, Snake, since you're going to be getting into it? I think I'll save it. Save it? Oh, save the question? Yeah. What? I, I don't, don't want to ask too much. And then... I, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I mean, you, when you're playing it, you'll, you'll uh, immediately... Get a hand of how it's different from Dark Souls. It's just slower and uh, heavier. But um, and there's no character customization. Oh, now. that was something I was going to ask. That annoys me. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, this is going to be the type of game where you're probably going to want to wear a helmet just because you're a default dude, and uh, there's no getting around that. So you can't make builds or anything He's unless the armor suits me. What was that? He's bald too, isn't he? He is bald, yeah. Okay. yeah. Bald yeah, with man. tattoos all over his face. Yeah, but it's story related, so it kind of has to. Oh, is he the last avatar? <laughs> Might be. You know what? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking about the uh, story as it's happening? And this is not a spoiler because I'm just guessing, and you can guess this based off of just looking at his face. You know, because if, you know, when he kills bosses, his brands and stuff glow. 
I'm thinking it's kind of like a Shadow of the Colossus thing where he's like absorbing them <gasps> and it's going to be like he turns into like Dorman at the end or something like that. That, that, that That's just what I'm guessing. I saw someone it's, say that in chat too. It's possible because like there's some weird shit. When you beat a boss, like it, he's yelled, it's like punched. Yeah, he gets like hit by times. an invisible force. So. I'm calling it's going to be something like that. but so Why the hell do you have that bread clip on your chin? Because I looked at King Tut. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was, that was my of you. primary concern at the time. To look like King Tut. Griffin is now streaming Lords of the Fallen. Thank you, Twitch. Your yeah. sarcophagus is going to be a soup can. <laughs> <laughs> the only like slurring, uh, cylindrical sarcophagus ever made. Yeah. It'll just be a steel drum with a giant can. <laughs> Completely unrelated, but yeah. I saw this thing on Reddit of someone they cooked bread in a empty like tin can, and then they hollowed it out, and then they put like sandwich stuff in it, so it was like a a can witch. That's gross. Can witch. That just reminded yeah. me for some reason of that chicken in a can that that guy ate. Oh. You know what I'm talking Ew. about, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty disgusting. Like All right. It. I feel like there, we should, you know, in, in this type of format, we should, uh, like, dedicate a certain amount of time to, like, reading chat and saying what they're saying about the topic. I don't know how that would work, though. Do you have any idea, like, how would we or organize that? Or I do, um, but I'll discuss it later. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? They made a Legend of Korra game. They did make a Legend of Korra it. game, yeah. And it was apparently terrible. I've heard it was not terrible. It was terrible for a Platinum game, is what I've heard. Which, I mean, it's... That's Revengeance and all that, right? Yeah. I mean, they usually make pretty, pretty decent fighting games. I've heard Bayonetta is amazing. And I've never played that, but... Um... Yeah, I, I, I've heard Korra was pretty uninspired. I mean, it's 15 bucks, but I'm, I'm definitely not going to play it. Oh, it's a 15 buck game? Yeah. I'm going to play it when I finish Korra. Yeah, you, you definitely have to finish Korra first, otherwise, super spoilers. But um, from what I've seen, I mean, it's, it's kind of repetitive arcade game style combat and not, you know, actual Korra. I like the Korra story and the show, not the. I, I mean, the uh, the fights are in and are amazing. They're I think they're better than in the last Airbender, but, um. Yeah, I, I mean, I I would want to watch it for the the story, not the actual repetitive fighting. Nine hundred robots gets kind of old. <laughs> <sighs> but I love my shonen animes. <laughs> Bayonetta 2 is, is goldy. It's goldy. Yeah, I, goldy. I heard Bayonetta 2 has gotten, like, ridiculously good reviews. Yeah, Bayonetta 2 is, like, reviewed, like, amazingly. It's like Half-Life 2 is, like, quality Metascore. Like, I, I don't know, I don't understand. I hear it's just, like, just a beat -em up Devil May Cry style game with boobs. But, but it's um, the clearly, best one ever! Yeah, clearly they're, they're doing something right, and I don't understand it, but... Well, it's a Wii U title, so... It's true. I think one day I'm going to download Bayonetta 1 and 2 on my Wii U, just so I have something to play on my Wii U. And then, yeah, uh, 91 critic score, 9.2 user score in Metacritic. Yeah, that's rare that they match up. <laughs> yeah, Usually no buying reviews. Yeah. From every... For like, for the user score to be that high, though, usually there's so uh, many trolls true. saying, this game sucks! <laughs> but, um... I don't want to please girl. And there's always that one asshole critic who's like, This game's unimaginative. This is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they sound like in their review. They only have audio reviews. <laughs> and you have to just listen to it like that. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Someone needs to do that. Just like, just completely like, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretentious British guy reviews. There's only audio. <laughs> That'd be great. He just links his SoundCloud to all review sites. 
Bayonetta 2 sucks only because it's for the Wii U. See, that's the type of person that would vote it zero on the user score. Not for PS3 zero. Right. I'm not saying you yeah. would do that, Roku, but in general, that's the type of person. But PS3 has no games anyway. True. Mm. PS3 sucks. It's not <laughs> as good as PS2. PSP is better. PSP is better than nothing. <laughs> PSP may be better than the Vita, and that's about it. PSP is maybe better than his girlfriend, so... What? Are you saying DSP or PSP? DSP. Oh. We're talking oh. about very different things. <laughs> <laughs> the one with Both. the UMDs that shoot out. <laughs> Which one? The PSP. I don't know, man. The one that's all washed up and is really old and doesn't do what it's supposed to. <laughs> Just DSP. <laughs> Just both of them. <laughs> yeah. You can mod your PSP, though. You can that's true, your, you can change it. So. Unlike, you can unlike the DSP other one. Haircut. <laughs> but you, can, you can't channel <laughs> the inner DSP. Your personal DSP, you can groom. Oh. <laughs> It's like a Tamagotchi. It's like a Dia pet. pet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it just grows just like complaints. Just like on pieces of paper. And so wow, it binds. dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would buy that. How do I eat this? It's just like a bowl of kibble. <laughs> <laughs> this is very professional. Hating on... Uh, yeah. Other... <laughs> I agree with well, Slash, so we should mod him. So if you mod to him. There's just so many board. joins we can know. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Uh, I'll mod more for too in his memory. Fuck that. Give, like, mm -hmm. fucking DSP, like, access to broadcast on this Just channel. give him the key, yeah. Like, you're, you're allowed we have, to have We have this. a guest spot, man. We, we, yeah, we, we <laughs> and we get to pick the thumbnail for him too, don't we? Yeah, here's the one where he's in his cowboy hat. That's, that's what the, I was thinking. That's the golden age of DSP. I swear to God. Oh, I don't. All right, this is all we're talking about now. <laughs> we just stopped this. It's the playing field. What do you expect? Oh uh, yeah, it's just playing field. Okay, now is the time where we take questions from our viewers, yes? Is this sure. a thing that people do? Is that a thing that podcasts... I don't think podcasts do that. I don't know, we're they, doing it. They usually don't do it live. They record it and put it out, but... Yeah. Oh man, we should get one of those fake 1-800 numbers where people can leave messages. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, unless you guys have something else you would like to discuss, I'd like to read a few questions from chat. I'm nothing no, nothing that. big, just, you know, just something to fill the time. You Let's tell you guys. them to maybe focus their questions on a cer certain topic? Yeah, I mean, something to do with games, obviously. I don't want to, like, when are you and Pewds going to do a new game? If you do that shit, you can get out. Yeah, hey, uh, just... You can just order me a pizza if you want instead. I can order you a pizza? Bring yeah. back pizza hour. I'm kinda, I'm kinda hungry. Bring back pizza hour. That's where playing field will be now. Pizza field. <laughs> this is going downhill. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will this be an often thing? Um, yeah, it should be every, uh, Wednesday. Probably gonna be, like, an hour or two long, Max. We're not gonna, like, do crazy long streams. Just, uh, an excuse for us to get together and shoot the shit, really. Not, uh, make debates or political views or any, uh, important... I wanna talk about politics. You don't know anything about politics. I sense... Who is the vice president? John McCain. <laughs> Joe John Biden. McClain. <laughs> Ooh, I wanted to watch the dire, uh, the fourth Die Hard movie again with Justin Long. 
Regardless. Is that any good? Yeah, it was actually really good. The, I, the the newest one is awful, but oh right, there was a fifth one. Yeah, no, don't watch that one. No, okay. the one with, the one with uh, John McClane was actually really good. I, I'm just gonna what put was John this in <laughs> which chat. That's the the top thing on Reddit right now. I think y'all should mean? see this. The fuck is this? Robotic arm goes crazy on TV. <laughs> Oh, uh, is that the default action of that? My face. That's amazing. Well, you've completely destroyed chat. Cause I had it. Okay, never mind. It's back. Jesus Christ. All right. Are we, are we gonna have a formula of this podcast? Um, as much as we did right now, that's like the most formula we've come up with. Unless you guys have like a better idea. I'm sure we're gonna refine this more as we go along. We pretty much had 10 minutes of prep. Definitely. So, um, This yeah. was all Jun's idea, so if you ever give me any, like, tips about things, don't do it. It's his idea. Yeah, Cry is not capable of running any projects at all, so... Yeah. All, uh, advice, please go to I tried to run Russell playing Snake. field one time, but then it happened, and then this happened. You should explain what we were actually gonna do. I should upload the footage because I dominated in fucking in chivalry. I remember that. Yeah. That was painful. <laughs> that I tried was... using the bow staff. Mistake. Oh, that is a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> All That's right. A so really good. What playing field was is we were gonna do like a gaming reality kind of show. No, no. Pitch it to me, bro. All right. 1,000 right. steam bucks up for grabs. 1,000 steam bucks up for grabs. Was it 10 YouTubers? Or... I... I don't even remember. <laughs> thought it was 8. Maybe 8. I think it was 8. Yeah, it was 8. It was 4v4. We were doing a gaming reality show, and it was gonna be two teams face off, and then one person's eliminated each. It's kinda like King of the Nerds meets video games meets lack of good quality production that really King of the Nerds would have had. Collaboration. Yeah. Pretty much. And, and like the little um the little logo right there was made for it, but it didn't get used, so now we're using it for this. Hi -yo. Hi -yo. It was made by Gabby. By the way, the logo. Thank yes, you, Gabby. It was. Good, good job, Gabby. Yeah, don't ever put me in charge of things. Yeah. That's yeah. what we learned. Who made this podcast layout? That would be Neko Cat. She's a very busy lady, too. I asked her to change something. She's like, no, I'm busy. I was like, oh, all right. So oh. Just... <laughs> Awkward. A little bit. That's why there's the Leppy outline at the bottom that I just sort of shoddily clone stamped over. <laughs> it looks really bad if you zoom in, but whatever. Now people gonna know. King of the Nerds meets real life crowd. Yeah, that's pretty much kind of what it was. Yeah. That's cool, Millie. Every Wednesday for an hour or two, yep. That's that's going to be the plan, and uh, hopefully by then we'll have a more uh, robust schedule. And every cast will end with Jund ordering me a pizza. Sure won't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm fucking hungry, okay? Some oh. order a pizza! Fine, jeez. Here, wait a minute, alright. So, I, I want to do the thing where you said you, you find a video... And then, like, it fades out. And then... Oh! Uh, no. What? No, no, no. The whole idea behind what I was trying to say is there would be, like, throughout the entire stream, you would have, like, a pre-recording of, like, just the game going on. And then as soon oh. as that ends is when the game... Would yeah, I feel or, like that only works yeah. for, like, a single person doing it, though. If there's, like, multiple no. people. I don't know. Not really. That's what, uh, fucking... 
Actually, no one does that. Uh, no one does that. this. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've never seen that done before. Flawless. E4 did it? No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, will we have set topics, or is it all going to be improvised? Um, I feel like we're going to have 